Hey, what's up guys? Shrex here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video for you today. I am not doing a Let's Play or building a Minecraft map or a mini game. This is something a little bit different. Now, you may not recognize this setting from any of my other videos because this is actually my personal Minecraft server. Um, I say server, it's not just a single player survival world. I actually play on it with some people in my family, my sisters and stuff, um, but this is my personal Minecraft world, and I've decided to show it to you guys today, uh, because I thought that it was really interesting and unique, and I think this is one of the best worlds I've ever had. Um, so now we're here in the main part of my house. Actually, what I sh should first do is go to the, uh, front door, and give you a guide from there. Um, there, I just need to hide that sign. But... Anyways, guys, this is my front door. Uh, I've got some lanterns on either side. There's actually lanterns throughout the whole town that turn on at night. I'll show you guys that feature later. But, um, out here we've got some rose bushes. Uh, this was a gift. And my mailbox. Um, so now if we go in my front door, we've got a tunnel system. This tunnel system connects, um, my house and all of my sister's houses together. So that we can, if it's night, uh, it was originally used when we had just started the world and we were building our houses and stuff. And we had like uh, stone and iron tools and like leather armor and iron armor and stuff. It was used when um, there were tons of mobs out middle of the night. We needed to visit each other. But um, yeah, this right here is my bedroom. I've got my bed for my custom texture pack and then I've got two... Uh, I believe those are dark oak logs on each side. They might be spruce, actually. Um, let me see if they're spruce. Yep, they're spruce. Um, and then I've got an orange tulip and an oxy daisy in a flower pot on both of those. Um, then we come over here. It, it's a pretty nice, pretty nice sleeping room. It's all stone. I really liked the stony, cavey feel because this was. I dug into here uh, to make a hobbit hole, and I found a cave and stuff back here. But if we go over here across the way, this is my furnace and crafting room. That is strange. Oh, oh, it's Optifine. Um, yeah, I installed Optifine. So yeah, that texture's been rotated and stuff. But if you look, uh, I have ten furnaces here. All of them are full of coal. Ignore the bricks and glowstone in my inventory. Why are my torches up there? Um, but those are all full, full of coal, and I, then I have some additional fuel in here. Blaze rods, coal, lava bucket, etc. And then if we go over here, this pathway, this little corridor, leads to my stable where my horse is. Uh, I'll show you guys my horse later. Um, kind of like how it comes up like this. But then these are my two dogs. I haven't give them, given them a name, but they're on leashes here. This is just a little cave area. I don't really know what to do with this area, so I just have it sectioned off. And then what I did here is this is my mine right here. It's just a boring generic strip mine down there. Nothing too, too fancy. I have gotten quite a bit out of it, though. So yeah, this area, nothing, nothing too special except my mine. And then we come through here, we've got ourselves a jukebox so that we can listen to Cat. Best, best Minecraft song. Um, and then I have these stairs, this cool little entrance that I terraformed from... Oh, I never noticed that. That's two. Mm. Uh, I terraformed from the cave. I found this huge round open area over here. Um, and so I decided to sculpt that into my storage room. There's this cave coming along here that went all the way back here, and then back here was a monster spawner, but my sister accidentally broke it. So I cleared out a massive area, and now it is a giant farm. I grow wheat, uh, carrots, and potatoes, and I really need to add more space because look at this, it's like completely full. It's mostly potatoes be um, because I move all my wheat and carrots to my animal pens. But then, if we go over here, you can find my sugarcane farm. It's automatic. You just push a button, all the pistons fire, and all the sugarcane comes down. The pistons used to pull it through the walls, but then that, that's why I had this door here. Here's all the redstone. But I put these cobblestone blocks 
behind them so that uh, it wouldn't get pulled through anymore. Uh, it was more. I'm going to turn off the music now because it's getting slightly annoying. Um, but now if we go back through here. So this is my uh, crop farm, sugarcane farm. If you go here, this is my nether wart farm. I get quite a bit of nether wart from it. And then if we go here, it's my mushroom farm where I grow my mushrooms. Yeah, nothing too special about it. You have to go through the nether wart farm. I tried to find it in a different place for it, but I couldn't really. Because break through this right here, you get to the dog room. Uh, this right here is an automatic chicken cooker, cooker device. I've had to throw away so many stacks of chicken and feathers and stuff. But yeah, it, it, it keeps me fed um, quite well. I'm just going to take some more food. It can be either raw or cooked chicken. There's cooked. Just turn that off real quick. And then there's... Or that's the raw, that's the cooked. And then these, these were originally a decorative feature. But then I saw that I could use them as something else. And if you go down here, there's a pool of lava. And these are actually an incinerator. And I really like how the lava comes out and then it goes back in. It's quite interesting. Um, so that's my incinerator. This was all like natural. It was actually dirt. I just covered it in stone quite recently to get the dirt feeling. Because I like the stone look. I need to put some lights and stuff up there. There we go. Sweet. So now we're back in this main area of the storage room. Um, I'm going to show you guys this. These are all my chests. I really don't need too much more storage. Um, so you've got like all my blocks. Not not too many blocks for some reason. Um, all of my redstone and minecart stuff. I'm actually going to install, if I show you guys my mine, I'm actually going to install a minecart Thing that carries me up to somewhere around here. I've got it down in my mind uh, because climbing up the ladder takes a little while. So I'm going to put a minecart uh, track that goes all the way up, kind of like I did in the co-op survival with hmm, with a case a while ago. So that's going to be a planned feature. Oh, oh, guys. Also, if you want me to continue, if you want me to um, give you guys updates on this map, kind of like Anthem does with his peaceful map, just say so in the comments and I'll do it. Because uh, I'd like to keep you guys informed about this map. I think it's quite cool. I really like it a lot. Um, it is hosted over LAN, but on my sister's computer because she created the world. It's called Oasis Island, even though it's not really an oasis or an island. But she created the world. She just names her world's blank island. But yeah, it's hosted on her computer and we all play on it. But um anyways, uh materials, these are all like my mob drops and paper and flint and stuff. This is this is just where I throw stuff in. And then these are all my ores. Oh, look at all this stuff. All that iron. Used to have a stack of iron. No, not a stack. Iron, gold, lapis, diamond, diamond block, emerald, quartz, so much quartz. So much quartz. But yeah, um, those are all my ores. These are my valuables, just things that I don't really know. Uh, valuables. Um, diamond pickaxe, fortune diamond pickaxe, silk touch pickaxe. This is a book. Uh, oh, this is a horse agreement thing. Yeah, um, a saddle. Don't know why I have this in here. I should probably put that in tools with the rest of the horse stuff. Yeah, right there. Diamond horse armor. Boom. Uh, and a, an old pickaxe. And I don't know what this is. La 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 la. Let me see. Oh, that was the horse. Another horse agreement. Um, don't know why I keep those. Oh, yeah. So I can show them later. Um, then I've got my sand and gravel in here. Bunch of gravel. Not too much sand. Then here's all my food and plants. Got a ton of flowers. There's my saplings and all my food. See, I have so much chicken. All from that farm right there. Um, this is my map. Oh, I know. I'll get to that in a second. This is all my wood stuff. I took out all the oak wood logs because I was working on a building not too, too long ago. What time is it? I want to show you guys the lights. Um, all my wood, wooden things. Yeah. Then we've got my tools or my weapons and armor. This is like used armor used tools, um, 
And then this stuff up here is just like horse armor, sword, all that stuff. Um, don't know where the sign for this one went. I'll just add that back real quick. If you guys don't mind. Um, yeah. So this was the dirt and grass, and then that was the wood. Dirt slash grass. Then, oh yeah, need to add the arrows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, um, and then space. Just trying to remember something. Wood. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Wood and grass. Sign is back. But then here's my dirt and grass. Bunch of dirt, not too much grass. Yeah, and then all my cobblestone, moss stone, cobblestone things, and all my smooth stone, because I used to go, I used to have silk touch pick, it's actually that one over there, but yeah, this wall right here had a, some wood and leaves and a little spring and stuff in it, because I was going to trap a creeper in there and put a name tag on him, but the creeper despawned for some reason, so I guess the name tags don't work on creepers or anything, or something. But yeah, I was going to have a pet creeper in here, but it didn't really work, so I just closed it all up. There's actually still leaves back there, I believe. Let me find the silk touch pick. I can use it for one thing. Um, yeah, see, there's still leaves back there from that project. Um, but I have turned it into a map wall, so I'm currently mapping it out. If we uh, look... I've got full diamond armor. I could make a helmet, but I like seeing my head. Oops, sorry, I accidentally hit the stop recording button there. Let me just make sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, as I was saying, I've got an Optifine cape as well, which is awesome. Because uh, I have Optifine installed. Finally succumbed to it, and I'm really liking it. But um, this is our area. Um, these are almost the limits. There's a little bit of stuff up there that I need to map out. But my house is right here, and then there's all the rest of this stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to make this whole thing a giant map, because I think it looks really cool, and I haven't made a map wall before. But, um, final thing. Oh yeah, I've gone through all the chests. Map wall is awesome. I think I've covered just about everything on my base. I have this skylight here, because when I found this giant circular room, this is naturally generated. There's a hole at the top in this exact shape, so I filled it with glass, and now I have an awesome skylight. Oh, yeah. When the sun sets, I'm going to show you guys outside because it's cool. Um, so let's go over here. This hallway just goes back. Um, this was in a natural cave. I dug it out. But this is my nether portal. There's nothing too significant in the nether. Just another fortress. Um, yeah, and then here's my enchanting room. Uh, potion stand. I should probably make a potions room. Maybe over in that uh, cave area over there. And my anvil. Um, so yeah, then you go up here, there's, this is my back door to what I like to call my backyard, air quotes. Um, it's just this huge area that I found and I've terraformed and flattened and tamed and stuff and it's got all my animals. This is my sheep pen. I've just been breeding them and stuff. It was originally sectioned into colors, but I decided that would be too much work, so I just broke it and I'm going to dye these sheep soon. Here are all my pigs. Are they all grown and ready to be bred again? I don't know. See, this is where all my wheat and carrots went. Um, yeah, they're ready to be bred again. Sweet. I have so many pigs and cows. I don't even know why. Probably just for leather at this point. But sheep. I'm going to use wool a lot eventually in my house. Um, and breed the cows. Just breed everything. And then, yeah, you saw that. Those were horses. Yes, the, the, that's my horse pin. They have all my horses. White one, black one, brown one. All the cool colors of horse. I just heard a creeper, I think. It might have just been a sheep eating grass. Oh, well. Um, yeah, here's all my horses. I've sold a few off to my sisters, but yeah, I've got a really nice black horse that I'll show you. So this is my backyard area. I'll get to that in a bit. Um, and there's been, there's two secret areas in my house um, that I haven't shown you guys. Um, so I might show you guys in a future update. If this video gets 10 likes in a future update video, I'll show you guys the secret area. But let's go look at my horse. In here, this is my redstone stable area. Just push a button, and 
So I just push a button and these open. Whoa, speed. But yeah, and then if you just push this button, they open again. But this is the rest of our town. We have a nice cobblestone pathway that goes uh, to everybody's house and everything. Oh, there's my sister. Hello, Lily Dilly123. Her name's not actually Lily, by the way. Hello there. Um... She's going off into the mountains. This is our city hall. My sister originally started building it, but she gave up. Uh, she's the mayor of this town, but and she's building the city hall, but she gave up. It says something about her marrying skills. Um, so I've started finishing it. I was working on it before this video, so I had the brick and stuff in my inventory. But these are all the street lights. They come on once the sun sets, which it will be in a few minutes. So I will show you guys these coming on. Um... Over here is a well, because originally there was a village here. Just a very small village, but uh, we've torn that down, but left the well. We've redecorated the well as, uh, as well, because it's cool looking. And then, this I will get to in a minute. This is my sister's house. She's the one that runs the server. It's a pretty cool house. It's got a wraparound balcony, uh, two stories. I did the roof for her, and then her stable. And then this is my other sister's house. Um, it's like a barn. I made the roof for this one. There's a skylight up there, if you can see. It's pretty cool. She's got a little shop off to the side. Uh, and then some animal pins and a stable back here. This house is really no one's house. It's going to be my third sister's house if she wants it. It's made out of quartz, and I think it kind of looks like a lighthouse. Um, I'm not going to show you guys the interiors, because I... I might in a future video. This is a little gazebo my sister built, but it's going to be replaced by a better gazebo following the design from my old channel. Um, some farms for my sisters. Oh, I don't have a melon or pumpkin farm yet. That's something I'm missing. And then they've got some shops that they've built kind of far away. They could build it closer to the town hall and it'd make more sense, but I believe this is a bakery for Lily Dilly. And then over here, another farm. We've got a uh, armor shop from my sister, Genebiz. And then there's a little cave area thing right here. Some things hanging off my sister's house. Pen and chicken coop. Um, yeah, the sun has almost set. So let's head up here. These. Let's. Let me check. I'll show you guys the powerhouse real quick. The powerhouse is the thing that provides the power. Um, I'll show you real quick. In here, you can see there is a uh, a daylight sensor with a window, and it's got this over here, and then these all branch off un under every single light in the city. So when it gets dark, the lights come on, uh, and it is almost sunset. So I will show you one more thing really quickly. Uh, that's just a mine, my sister's mine, not not too interesting. This pathway is leading to, um, what is it, Welcome to Winter Wonderland. Yeah, my sister's building kind of a resort back here. Uh, I think it could be farther out to be more vacation-y. Vacation you can see my sheep and stuff back there, but there's nothing really here at the moment. We're all going to have houses and stuff here, but let's get back to town so that we can observe the lights coming on. I did the, all the wiring and all the stuff like that myself. Are they on? Oh, we just missed it. But as you can see, yeah, they all they all turn on once the sun starts to set and they stay on quite late. It's um I really like the system. It makes it safer and it makes it less ugly because we used to have a bunch of torches everywhere, but that looks ugly. This is a tree house that my sister built. You can kind of see the entire area from it. There's all the lights. It's pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to ask her if she can go and break the redstone torch in there so that we can see the lights. Break the redstone torch in the powerhouse so I can see the lights. Yeah, there's one sister. Uh, she'll probably do it, yeah. Um, she's coming along. So, um... Yeah, let's, she'll do it in a second, but these are what the lights do. Let's watch this, and she's going to break it. Oh, there we go. All the lights turned out, as you can see, everywhere, almost instantaneously. 
And if she puts it back, we'll see it light all up again. And it's pretty awesome. There's some torches still that we need to clear out. But yeah, look at that. Isn't it awesome? Now she's making it strobe. It's a rave! But yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. So this is a tree house that my sister built. And that's, that's pretty much it for my personal survival server. Um... So yeah, guys, uh, if you want me to give you guys updates on this world occasionally, just tell me in the comments below, and if this video gets 10 likes, then I will show you the secret areas in a future update video. But anyways, guys, that's it for this Minecraft video. If you liked the video, then be sure to like the video. 10 likes, secret area. It's a win-win. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you all next time, and goodbye.